Hi and welcome to the December 2019 energy update. Not really sure what the cards are going to tell us, but I chose a bunch of decks and I'm just going to choose some cards and see where the energy leads us. I know for me, the theme that I've been coming across lately is more about uh, really continuing, and I talk about this a lot, like not trying to figure it all out because we trap ourselves when we try to figure everything out because, you know, our mind is only capable of seeing the possibilities based on what it already knows, which is very limiting. So I've been working on just asking questions to the universe, not having to try to know the answers, figure out the answers, just letting the universe show me what is meant to be for me. Just opening up to the many different possibilities because my mind is limited, just like all of you, into uh, what it thinks or what it or thinks it knows as to how to you know, manifest your desires and make things happen in your life. So let's see if the cards will speak to any of that because that's really, I think, what I'm tapping into as far as the energy right now, like especially coming into the new year, really just putting stuff out there and just, that's it, just putting it out there without having to know how it comes about, what the answers are, no matter what the questions are. Just really asking a lot of questions of the universe because there's such infinite possibilities, answers, ways of things occurring, um, coming into your life beyond what we could ever imagine. And isn't it fun to kind of leave it up to that? the universe to allow like um, and inspire us to what we can't even see yeah let's see what happens I hope these cards talk to that I have no idea I'm just gonna be picking them and we're gonna go with the flow hi I'm Linda Armstrong I'm an energy healer and an awakening coach and this is my YouTube channel and what I want to do now is this energy update for December. And so we're going to pick a card and see um, what it wants to tell us. And so let's see what comes up here. Emerging. Oh, interesting card. Um, especially as we're coming into 2020, right? So what are those things that are emerging within us that want to be birth? Actually, it has an affirmation here and it says, I am emerging into light and joy and ease. Well, what a beautiful way to start out this next year by ending off December, really setting that up for this December coming up. And so we're going to get into this card in just a moment. So it's pretty cool that this is the first card that came out, this emerging, right? So really, it is all about planting new seeds, right? and uh, nurturing them and allowing them to grow into this beautiful creation, whatever that might be, right? And um, I would say that it's really about, uh, maybe a big theme also for this new year coming up about is really taking care of you, like yourself. You know, nurturing yourself as you are emerging into this new aspect of you or stepping into um, uh, the next evolution of who you are and what you're here to do. And even if that might be something so completely different and new to what you thought it was. So again, it's really, it's really about just allowing yourself to um, follow the energy, right? Put the ideas out there, ask questions out there. Um, you know, maybe a question is like, how do I step fully into what I'm here to do in this life? You know, how do I accomplish my purpose? And if you don't even know what that is, ask, what is my purpose in this lifetime? What am I here to do? Just putting the questions out there without having to have any answers, without having to know. So it's like getting into the um, excitement. Like, you know, remember when we were little kids and we wanted to figure something out and we we're playing some game and we would just really, I mean, if you watch a little kid, their imagination just runs wild. And as they're 
creating and being these things, <laughs> they actually really feel it. Like they are, they are that little horse or that unicorn or that um, magician or, you know, whatever. It's a school teacher, you know, the doctor, you know, when kids are playing, they really step into that role and just be it. No plan. They just be it. So maybe that's part of this too, right? It's just being and allowing what wants to come. Again, getting out of the head and allowing for your experience to lead you. Like really just being open to the inspiration as it comes in and following that and acting on that. So let's see. I'm going to pick another card here. This one's from uh, Divine Energy Oracle. Sonia Choquette. And... They're usually just like one word. So let's pick this and see what it is. Whoops, I got too many cards. I want just the top one. Oh, look, speak up. <laughs> I love it. Speak up. Talk to the universe. Tell the universe. Not what you want, you know, because you'll just keep wanting, 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 wanting. Just ask in question form. You know, like, how, how can this happen? How can I be... Um, debt free in the next six months like you don't have to know the exact plan and follow step by step you're just putting the questions out there and allowing for the miracles so to me that speak up really is is perfect because speaking up to the universe to um the energy that you are a part of that we are all a part of and allowing that energy to lead you to lead the way so, yeah, I like that. That's a good one, too. All right, so I'm going to go. I'm just choosing whatever comes next. Um, trust your vibes. Trust your vibes. So let's see what comes out of that one. Okay. So trust your vibes wants us to know about speaking up, right, to the universe, emerging, planting those seeds. Um, what do we get here? Let's cut this deck. Take that top card. Share a breath. Huh. Yeah. Share a breath. So the way I'm going to take that is just be. Breathe, right? Our breath is what keeps us here, right? Our breath is what, like, you're not looking at the different little specks and molecules of air coming into your lungs it just is there right and you breathe it and allows your body to function and to be alive and to do whatever it's meant to be doing just by breathing so you know, you know maybe we want to look at that as to um if you feel like you need to do something now, i'm not saying don't do anything when inspiration comes yeah act on it because that's the thing when sometimes inspiration comes and we just intend to act on it but then don't and then it's gone you know the universe gave you an answer and you didn't act on it and then it's gone and then you start getting in your head and you start trying to figure things out and then you start saying oh if i had only listened when it came in blah blah forget about it you ask a new question okay so what else can i do right um that will take me further along my path to really truly stepping into what I'm here to do in this lifetime. Um, but take a breath. Just be. I would I would say it really is all about just being. We could even add a little bit of gratitude to that because, hey, you're here and you're able to breathe. You exist. Your breath is flowing through your body, right? It's allowing you to be in this reality and um, kind of like uh, be in the wonder of it all. I mean, we could actually really kind of get into like a fantasy mind of that. I don't know why this is coming in, but even if you could just imagine how these particles of air come together and you take it into your body and whatever it does throughout your body as it flows through that enables you to exist and to give you the opportunity to actually carry out what you came here to do. Could we come here for a reason? I'd say even if you don't think you have a particular reason, maybe all you do is come here just to 
play and have fun and explore and see what this world is all about and what you could make it. We're very, it's very easy for us to get stuck into the things that we think are wrong with our existence. But what if you ask the questions like, you know, what's right about this situation that I'm not seeing, you know? I mean, actually, a lot of this asking questions stuff um, comes from access consciousness. So if you've never heard of access consciousness, you might want to take a look at that. I've recently started doing access um, bars where, you know, you can really reprogram, reprogram. It's not really reprogram. It's just letting go of releasing these patterns and programs and things that have been running your life. <laughs> that are limiting you from all the possibilities just like emptying that out like hitting the delete button and just getting rid of all of those things to allow for all the newness to come in and again yeah perfect it's a perfect time for that conversation to come around because we're moving into a new year new year new you I mean every day is a new day right every day is a new day so what's possible for me today that I haven't known that was possible for me that I can Start, oh look, woman holding a coin. Okay, so I know that this card speaks to either, um, you know, yourself and um, bringing in abundance in, you know, financial abundance or having someone who enters into your life that is a woman that can assist you in creating this financial abundance right? But it doesn't have to be financial. It could just be abundance, right? We tend to a lot of times get stuck in only seeing that one way, like financial abundance, the freedom that comes with that. But what about the abundance of all the beautiful nature? What about the abundance of air that we get to breathe that keeps us going, right? What about the abundance of the many different ways in which we can emerge into something new, create something new. We always and every single day have the opportunity to create something new. Um, all right, let's go one more card because I did pull out like five decks here. This one's intuitive life coaching. Let's see what this one says. So far, like always, they all seem to be speaking to each other, with each other, and following the theme. Now, of course, okay, maybe my energy is setting that up because I had something on my mind um, or what I've been experiencing and noticing around in my life. And uh, the cards are speaking to that. But I would say, speaking to me, and you're watching this, it is speaking to you. Because, yes, like does a like, attract like. Um, energy has a way of working that way. So... That's why I really like this whole thing with really just speaking to the universe, asking questions, and being kind of in that little kid mind of that uh, joyful expectation of what could be. Okay, last card, synchronicities. Oh, nice. Okay, this is it. We're going to end this right here. I'm not even going to say anything more than what it says at the bottom of this card, if you can see it. It says, allow the magic of synchronicity to unfold. There you go. Things are emerging in your life. Whether you're aware of it or not, it's happening. That's what it's all about, right? So let's just ask those questions of the universe. Forget about trying to figure it out because, you know, it just traps us and it just brings up all these things that trigger within us that put us into this lower vibe. You know, let's live high vibe. Let's be in this... You know, like we were when we were like two years old, like everything's an adventure, right? And everything can be made into something else. Your, the imagination is just there. So let's ask the questions of the universe. Allow this newness, these new things to emerge. Be who we are. Like just breathe. Be grateful that you exist and that you're able to breathe. Maybe use that breath in a very... Um, in a way that really, really does fuel your system, and that would be in meditation. Whether it's awake or eyes closed, just letting your breath fill you and have you feel that expansion into the everything that there is, because your breath can do that so easily if you just allow yourself to explore it. 
Yeah. So um, be aware of the synchronicities. Acknowledge them. Thank the universe for these synchronicities that are showing up. Because, you know, the more you notice these things, the more they come in because the more you're receptive to them, right? The more you're allowing to yourself to receive them. And it's all about receiving. Receiving from the universe, asking questions, allowing it to come in. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this um, new year and everything that it will bring. And I hope that you are too. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, um, comment below. I love to receive comments. See if this, let me know if this is resonating with you or if you hadn't even really opened your awareness to it yet, but now you see, okay, I'm going to live off of the possibilities and the excitement of that. And I'm going to be, and I'm going to allow me to be me and just ask questions and allow for those synchronicities to come in to just kind of lead me on that path of what I'm here to do and be. And so I'll see you on another video. And uh, also, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel and help my channel to grow and reach more people. That would be so awesome. And so I'll see you again on another video. Bye.